What we're going to be looking at here is accounting for unearned revenues. Now unearned revenues are revenues that are received before delivering goods or rendering services for these revenues. Now when we're accounting for these unearned revenues, there's two things we have to do here. Number one, upon receipt of the advanced revenue, you'd be debiting cash and you'd credit a current liability account identifying the source here of the unearned revenue. And number two, upon earning the revenue, you would debit an unearned revenue account and you'd credit an earned revenue account. So let's look at an example here. Let's assume a major university, let's just call it football U here, sells 15,000 season football tickets here at $70 each for its five game home schedule here. Now they sold these tickets here before the season started, before they begin playing the games here. Now what we have to do is we have to look at how Football U records the sales of these sick season tickets here. Now what we have to, there's what we have to do is we have to isolate here uh, the revenue here before it's earned here and also the revenue here after it's earned here. So what we do is we set up, um, we have three accounts that we're going to set up here. We're going to have a current liability account, we're going to call that an earned revenue account here uh, and we'll identify it here as football tickets and then we're going to have a current asset account here and they're going to receive cash here for these uh, uh, tickets they sold before the season started or these season tickets here. And again we'll add identify that here as football tickets. And then we have this third account here. Uh, well first off these unearned revenue here in our cash accounts those are both on our balance sheet here as a current asset here, cash on our balance sheet, unearned revenue as our current liability here on our balance sheet. But then we have this third account here. We would call it a revenues account, again identified for football tickets, but this is on our income statement here. In this revenues account, this is what we'd be uh, looking at after the revenue is earned, and this would be called an earned revenue right here. Whereas the um, uh, before uh, the revenue is earned, we've got this unearned revenue account, and then we d have received the cash here. So let's look at our example here. Uh, we had ticket sales here. Um, 15,000 uh, season tickets here at $70 each. That equals $1,050,000. And that is before the start here of our football season. So what we do here, we cre um, credit our unearned revenue account here on our balance sheet for that amount, $1,050,000. And then the corresponding debit account, of course, let's just say they were all cash sales here. So we would debit that here for $1,050,000. So okay, we set up our current liability here and then we also have this current asset that received in cash here. And again this is before the revenue is earned. All right, now let's look at uh, what we would do after each game here. So what we would do, we remember we have five games in the season here. We received a total of $1,050,000. So if we portion that between the five games, you just divide it out here. And you're going to get $210,000 per game that they have here in revenue. So what we would do is we just take after each game here, we would um, on our current liability account, our unearned revenue account, we debit that here for $210,000 dollars for um, what we would earn here in revenue for each game here and then the corresponding credit account here in our revenues if here on our income statement we would credit that for two hundred and ten thousand dollars so you can see here five games we would just credit or debit our unearned revenue or reduce our unearned revenue account by two hundred and ten thousand dollars each year and then over on our income statement here we would be crediting our revenues account for the same amount two hundred and ten thousand dollars dollars for each game here. So easy enough here. Remember when you're dealing with these unearned revenues you have to set up this current liability account uh, on your balance sheet here and uh, identify what it is here. In this case we had football tickets and then because we received uh, uh, cash here which would be a current asset in advance here you would have to record your cash entry here or increase your current asset account in this case cash here and then when you actually earn these revenues then you would reduce your current liability in this case an unearned revenue account by the amount that you earn for each period in each period here we had five games in this case and then at the same time you'd be crediting or increasing your revenues account here that's when they're earned here that's after the revenue is earned we would call that an earned revenue here on our income statement all right so that just takes care of our very simple example and that covers here in un unearned revenues and how you'd recognize them here as earned revenues here once you actually earn the revenues